Hello and welcome to Sea Open here at Las Vegas. We are here in the trucks and we are going out for qualifying. We've got ourselves the OSR setups this week. Uh, the fresh ones set up for this track. Hey, we got a nice comment too. Look at that. From Wesley. So good luck to Wesley. That's really cool to see. He's the number 11 truck. And uh, we've got ourselves a 2.8 strength of field here. Got home from work here on Tuesday night. We're going to see what we're able to do. We're not going to be able to get up to speed on this first lap. So we're going to take it kind of easy on the tires the first time around. And then really uh, get a good run to the next time, to the next lap. Hopefully that'll be a good one. Q setup seems pretty good. OSR is pretty great with the Q setups. They uh, seem to get the job done a lot of the time, so uh, we'll see if uh, that is the case again Green here. Flag. Green flag. Okay. Here comes your first time flag. But I'm sure it'll do plenty fine so long as I don't mess it up. But big lift here. We're not going for a fast lap. Here on lap one, no reason to even use up any of the tires, but then we are going to gas it up now, take it to the high side up here, kind of right along the seam, and we'll hopefully get the best run to the line as we can, and then now we're going to push it here. P4, that lap was at 31.9. Almost feels like uh, Super Speedway qualifying because it's completely flat out here at Las Vegas at the truck. Which, uh, maybe not my favorite. You prefer to have to uh, lift a little bit or something, but can get a little loose later in the run, so let's see how that feels. 30.244 is going to put us on pull for now, but lots of guys probably still waiting to go. So I'm happy with that time. I'll take it. Hopefully the uh, race setup's feeling just as good. I did uh, some practice laps in that as well. and uh, Seemed fine to me. Seemed to be getting on the right rear, which I think is good, because once we get into traffic, we're going to want it to get on that right rear, because the dirty air is going to make the truck tighter. Blah, blah, blah. Don't like the way you're driving. Blah, blah, blah. I fixed my spotter, by the way, as he complains at me. <laughs> I had uh, last time changed over to the X audio or whatever over here in the sound settings. This one here. And uh, apparently it had like broken my spotter over here. So I fixed it. So that's good. And uh, the audio does sound better. So I'm glad I, I switched that over. Um, but still have to, I'll have to listen back and add it and stuff and make sure all the levels are good. And uh, please let me know if you notice it being kind of weird. My cat really wants pets right now. Hey. I'm doing a race. No, you can't climb on me. I'm like, uh, what was that monkey's name <laughs> in old NASCAR? Uh, Jocko Flacco or something. <laughs> That's what my uh, my cat's gonna ride in the in the back of the race car. Stop. He's trying to climb on me. All right, so right now we are P3. Looking pretty good. We got another minute to go though. I think uh got the job done. Oh, we got this muted. What did Wesley say? Did I go far too far back or did I not go far back enough? There it is. I don't know. I can't find it all of a sudden. Whatever he did say. <laughs> eh? I don't know. I don't hear anything. Maybe just testing his mic. E4. We got 20 seconds left. 
That's a plenty good starting spot, though. Uh, the fact that this can be kind of like uh, super speedway racing means that uh, the wrecks can look kind of super speedway-esque as well. So maybe a, a pretty good thing to get as uh, far to the front as we can. Down to P5, but I think I want to be on the inside. I think that's good. Get as much track position as we can. The end of the session, P5. Wesley's chosen to not qualify. That could be smart, too, because I'll probably be in the wreck, and he'll be able to slow down for it and point and laugh <laughs> as he drives by with his clean truck. I almost forgot to put the uh, race setup in. That would have been embarrassing. Uh, we want this one. The one with the little R next to it. That stands for really not the Q setup. So we got 80 laps. What's the fuel situation looking like? One lap to green. 47, so... On the inside. You can just make it past halfway. Probably gonna go a little long. Might as well. Keep it clean. The DNF today would hurt our points a lot. DNF today hurt our points a lot. He says, I don't know what points he's talking about, but... B5 is a decent starting spot here. Top 10 would be just fine. I know it's a 2 truck, but we got some strong drivers in here, so even just a top 10 would be perfectly fine, especially on a free setup. We got Dragon Ball Z on the back of uh, Williams, Victor Williams up there. And uh, the real strength of field is 2.8k, according to Race Lab. I know uh, iRacing likes to report yeah. a little bit higher of a number. Three sets of tires, that's pretty generous. This might even be a, uh, a combo where you can do the two-tire strat near the end. I've done that before, and it actually really paid off for me. So, you know, of course, the situation has to be right. We can't have super old tires and then maybe go for the two tires, because we'll probably spin out if we try to do that. But uh, if the situation's right, we can maybe nab some track position. Take some two tires, two right sides. Something to think about. And, like, it'll be a... Second gear start. Got to remember to blip my throttle. I'm still getting used to uh, having to do that now. Spending so long using uh, the uh, auto blip or whatever. Shifting assist, or I guess it would be. But now I uh, have moved on to the anti-stall, where you have to blip it. And it's much better. I'm glad that I switched over. It definitely helps on the starts and restarts. I just uh, have to make sure I don't forget that I actually have to pay attention when I'm shifting. So, Alright, we should be able to get a good view, I think, coming out of turn 4 for the start. Looking forward to it. Hopefully we can keep it clean. Alright, that's a good shift. All right, another good ship. We're good. We are good, good, good. Actually, kind of motoring on this inside line. Got a better start than the outside line, seems like. Don't have the draft, though, at the moment. Lifting a little bit, and we already have a caution. That's not good. Why are we cautioning already? Hopefully this will be a clean race. Tracks don't always have the best reputation, but usually the open series is not bad. But a real quick one here, unfortunately. And we're going to be P4. So hey, we gained a spot. 
Woo! Time to celebrate. I need you in front of me here. Good safety to grasp. Don't see why anyone would pit at this point unless they got damage from whatever happened back there. Wonder if it was a big one or if uh, it was just a couple trucks involved. Everyone bunched up like that definitely has the potential for a big wreck. Back when I'm running me over, guys. Had to be quite a smoke streak. Any takers back there? Like I said, I think if anyone's coming in, it's to fix some damage. Pit road is closed. I think I might see some smoke closed. way back there. From a broken engine or something. Let's see the 4, 8, 19. We had some fast guys that didn't qualify, I think. Hopefully Wesley's alright back there. He also didn't qualify. He didn't go to the pits, so presumably doesn't have any damage to fix. What happened, Case? That guy get loose in front of you? When people say nice things to me, they're automatically uh I'm automatically rooting for. <laughs> also rooting for a better run than that. Did we make it one lap? Maybe we made it like one lap and a little bit before the yellow came out. Now I'm going to have to do the shifting again. I have another chance to mess that up. Now that's the negative way to look at it. I got to look at it a positive, like a chance for more practice to perfect my shifting. Wow. How motivational. Working on the, uh, the whole optimism thing. <laughs> get to uh, our spot on the outside now. I don't think it matters too much, although the inside line really did get going a lot better than the inside line that last time. And uh, we'll be looking to find our way to the bottom, probably. This is uh, just going to push back our planned pit even further as we save a little bit of fuel here. Not really putting much effort into it. It could be clutching, but I don't think it matters all too much. I will have to be ready to, to catch it. I do think it's going to get on the right rear more than the right front. That's what I kind of found when I was in doing my practice. So I have to be ready for any loose moments that might pop up. I expect that to start happening maybe on exit. Maybe a little bit in the center of the corner. Definitely going to get a good view of the one this time. So we have ourselves a nice start. The pace car is in. Green flag, green I jumped a little bit, a little bit early. Got to be careful doing that. Clear inside. Gotta leave the land. I can't just cut him off down there. Inside lane does seem to get a much better start, for whatever reason. Don't want to go three wide, but the 12 is kind of holding up a little bit. Alright, the guy's pushing up for some reason. It's real easy, I, I promise. Okay, we'll get to the bottom. A little bit aggressive there, but I wanted the bottom. I don't want to go sit on the outside for too long. And yet another caution. I swear it's not hard. <laughs> this is just flat out. As long as you don't run into other people, you should be fine. Uh, we've already been doored, I guess, so... Just uh, found a weird way to get back to P4, I guess. Yeah, 
Gate ride's open. It's open. Yellow pipe. Guess we'll check again, see if uh, anybody else ended up uh, having to go in the pits. For damage. The four has left, four truck. I think he might have had damage that first time. I wonder if he's involved in it again there. Who's going in the pits? Pit road is closed right now. Hopefully we get this out of our system right away at the start. And we can have clean racing afterward. 7, 15, 8, 18, 24, all heading in. So that's a decent chunk. Got, uh, what's that, five drivers? I'm guessing getting damage fixed. Don't know why else you'd head down pit road unless you just want to stay at the very back. So we're still P4. Kind of too bad. It does seem like that inside lane's a little bit better, but I kind of didn't get the greatest jump. So maybe I can uh, work on that a little bit. Get a better launch. I do like that the cautions feel like they're going by pretty quick. Already coming to one to green. And uh, going to be taking our place on the outside of the second row. Made a bit of an aggressive move already to get to the inside of the 12 there. But I had a huge run and he was coming up to block me on the outside lane. And I really didn't want to lift off there, and I wanted the bottom lane anyway, so it felt like a good opportunity to change the lane, go to the middle, uh, you know, just go to the inside of him. And uh, we were just kind of starting to get single file, and then the caution come out, comes out again. So Rocky start, but we'll get there, right? Can't, we couldn't possibly have cautions the whole time, right? 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 Yeah. My cat still wants to jump on me. My cat did, in fact, join me in the truck here today. He's looking at me. He's like, why do they keep wrecking? I don't know. You tell me. Why do they keep wrecking? Maybe because they don't have a good luck cat in the truck. Maybe because they have a freaking monkey in the, in the truck. And it's going ape. I don't understand the logistics of how that worked in real life. Blows my mind that that really happened. But uh, this is looking familiar. We'll do it again. Going green. 71 lap race now, essentially. The pace car is in. Green flag, green flag. You're back in fourth position. Inside. Still there. This guy's gonna get to our inside. Clear. Smile in. Alright. Good stuff. That's perfectly fine. Would love to just get some laps done. Getting checked up a little bit though, being nose to tail. Get huge runs. Don't really feel the need to go for it right now though. I mean, heck, we'll get the inside if they wreck again, so... Probably prefer to be fifth rather than fourth, but I'm also looking behind us at a group of trucks on their way. And, uh, really don't want to get swamped by that, either. Oh, 
but we'll uh, we'll consider our options. Side lane getting a run because checked up on the bottom. Really does feel like super speedway racing right now. Wow, it's really interesting how easy they're going into the corners. Getting some big checkups as I uh, like enter one and three. My bad, fellas. I checked up and it hit me below the line. I guess they're saving tire, but I, I swear it's going to be the rear tire that's going to matter the most, so... I could be wrong, though. I mean, I, this is the first time I've done this this week. It'll be a whole different ball game than I'm expecting. Outside lane, though. It's getting moving since we're all uh, bunched up. I believe they are three wide right now. It's a little nerve-wracking on lap 14. Hopefully they know to give room, and hopefully they don't wreck directly in front of me. I prefer that not to happen. They got the chrome truck. It's another one of those schemes that uh, it's got a bad reputation. Don't know the guy, but guys with the uh, chrome look, sometimes they're like, oh, you gotta watch out for those guys. Okay, we got someone sticking their nose. Really close to racing already. Clear. Feel the truck getting plenty of turn out of the corner. Not too worried about getting tight. Huge checkup. I think we might have to go to the outside lane to be honest. We're just going to continue to fall backward. I really don't want to be back in the field. I really want the track position because I feel like they're going to wreck in front of me if I get too far back. Although the 20 is all alone out there right now. Maybe I don't want to be out there. I have to say. some assistance to the 12 on entry. Car outside. They're side by side. Still there. Go low. The lap time was at 30.7. That's your quickest lap in this session. Keep low. Things might be picking up a little bit. They're checking each other up a little bit less there, it, it feels like. Lap truck up ahead, where are they gonna go? Hopefully the outside. It looks that way, so appreciate that. Smart way to do it. Stay on the outside here rather than uh, in the racing line down low. Seems like you can do a big lift on entry and then the draft pulls you through the corner real fast. You kind of get a run. It really feels super speedway like. I know I keep saying it, but it, it's true. It's not my favorite type of racing, but at least there's a little bit of handling going on here. And uh, it's only going to be even more so the more we get going through this run. They're actually falling behind a little bit back there. I think the 20 maybe pushed it a little bit in that middle lane for a while. Oh, what was that? Did the one get loose? I thought I saw a little puff of smoke, and he's turning the guy! Outside. 
I did not want to get to the inside of the 12 that way. I was avoiding the guy and I kind of just ended up there. <laughs> no, I did not really mean to get to the inside of the guy on the apron. But it kind of just happened. Okay, now we're getting loose. Little exit. That must have been what the other guy felt. Interesting. Just uh, try to get up ahead of that. Do a little uh, bit of lifting. Try to put as little wheel into it as possible. We got a truck backwards and sitting still on the infield grass. His race is not going well, whoever that was. It's not where you want to be. Is that you, Casey, asking? You blinked out once or twice earlier, but you haven't been blinking at all. Clear outside. Alright, sure. 12 fought us off. He really insisted. Yeah, so, no, that's fine. Right we'll right. file in with him. We're in a good spot, P4. I like that we got a little bit of a gap behind I, us, too. Yeah. For a while, it was looking like we were getting... Uh, Swamped hey, a little no, bit. Yeah, this, so, uh, if we can I avoid that, that'd be fantastic. Threw me down to the end. And I meant what I said. I did want the handling to come in, and it feels like it's coming in, so that's, that's good stuff. Kind of purposely entering harder. Try to get on the right front a little bit. Balance the tires out. So that way we don't, we don't get too loose. Plus, it's fast. When you enter the corner harder, believe it or not. Point six behind us, and then uh, even further back to the guy behind him. So the guy behind us is really just kind of grappling with our, uh, our draft, probably hanging on for dear life. Draft's going to be important on a track like this where you're almost full throttle the whole way. So I'm, I'm happy we're in the lead group here. Oh, I thought I saw a puff of smoke again. I think it's the one. 12 gets to the inside of him. Wow, okay. This is looser than I even remember it getting here at uh, Las Vegas with this combo. I know it usually gets loose, but maybe it's uh, the track's pretty hot here today. That's really getting it loose? Not sure, but uh, that was definitely a handful there for a second. We'll regroup. Try to keep it smooth so that way we don't get uh, the tires hot anymore. There's the one getting sideways. That's what we're trying to avoid. Because the more you do that, the slidier it's going to get. So we might as well try to nip that in the bud. Keep the thing from getting any more loose than it needs to be. Loose is fast, though. So I'm not complaining about it. Just got to respect it. Know that it's coming and be able to drive through it. There's a little bit of throttle modulation. Gonna have to be really careful getting up close to the one too, because when you get right behind a guy, it makes him even looser, and he's already having a little bit of the oversteer issue. So, be careful if I get up behind him, he might uh, find himself loose, and I gotta make sure I don't run into the back of him if that happens. Just something to think about, thinking ahead to situations I might have to react to. 
so I can better respond if it does happen. We may be getting a little loose up in there in the lead with the 12 right on him. A little bit too loose, dare I say. It's fun to drive, though. Kind of happy. I'm smiling. It's fun. And there's yellow. That's going to be close on fuel. That's going to be very close on fuel. And wouldn't you know it, we're still in fourth. After all that. But we will be coming down and getting fuel and tires. Let the pace car by. It's coming up though. At Mach 10, no less. Full course yellow. Pits are open. Check it up. Alright, we're good. One's got an interesting pattern on his truck. What does that remind me of? I think that reminds me of my shower curtain. I don't know what to do with that information. Look out for the pit speed limit. The pit lane speed limit is 50 miles per hour. We'll I think these guys are all pitting further pit back 10. than me, aren't they? Glad you made it, Dick. Five. Three. Two. I mean, I would have been here sooner if I didn't get right nailed here. in the ass. And we get stopped. 88, 81. Wow, really on the right rear. That's kind of what I was feeling, so that's not too surprising. With how loose that is, that kind of makes me take back what I said about two tires, because that would get you real loose if you started doing that. I'm going to speed the one out, but I want to give myself a penalty trying to get that ha to happen. 48 laps. Two gallons. Two gallons is estimated that we need to save. So, according to iRacing... We should be able to make it to the end, but my fuel calculator says we need just a little bit more, so. We will give it a little bit more. 13 behind, 13 truck. Has brought along a passenger. He has a blue cone attached to the front. And uh, he drops him off at his destination in 3 and 4. So, that was an interesting development. We're saving the fuel. I think we should be okay, but why risk anything? Let's keep as much fuel in this thing as possible. Two to green now. So I'm going to try to keep in mind how loose the truck got during that last run. And maybe, uh,. Take it a little easier on the uh, exits. Just when we can. Everyone's saving a little bit of fuel, I think. You can usually tell because guys will slow down and then speed up and then they'll roll past you a little bit as everybody using their clutch. Running the iRacing, we're plenty good, but 1.7 gallons. 1.7 still uh, needed from us, according to my fuel calculator, which I believe gives us one lap of buffer. So probably don't need quite that much. But if I want to play it safe, never know if we start getting some green white checkers or something. But if that happens, we uh, have caution laps. So. I guess these guys are all like on a team, right? Because we got Reaper, Reaper, and then we got Ryko in third. We got they got all our uh, team setups or something. I don't know. I got I'm Team OSR, I guess. Team free setup. <laughs> I 
I don't know how that works, actually. Like, do you... If you're on there, like, if you buy their setups, do you, like, do you have to put the... Put that on there? I, I have no idea. Do they want to put that on there? Like, the their team? Like, yeah, Reaper, Speed Lab. I have no idea. I gotta say, though, I love my paint scheme that uh, Nick made for me. That's super cool of him. We got the grape out here. Welches and the Speedway Motors. Purple truck. Looks so nice. It's so much better than the iRacing paint garbage I had before. <laughs> And after the next caution, for sure. Feels so much better out here. Not feeling like I need to put a bag over my head. Alright. Get ready. Getting go it again. Right. On the outside. Let's try to That's see uh, if we can get a good start. I hear guys using first gear. Be ready. Terrible, terrible start. Inside. Or the guy on the outside in front of us. Although the guy on the inside kind of had a weird start. What are we doing, 12? Come on, we're losing so many spots. What are you doing? Just horrendous start for him. And they're wrecking. I almost got caught in that, too. That's the whole field. Pit Road is closed right now. Yeah, Love to go from freaking fourth to what? Where am I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth, and half a lap. That's great. I get collected, and then all I did was check up and stay with the outside line. Go from fourth to eighth because the outside lane didn't go. But like I said, I can't really blame the guy too much because. The leader was going and slowing down and going, and it's not smooth at all on his uh, pace. Don't know if it was intentional or not, but certainly messed up that restart real bad. Less doubt that we can make it to the end. And we're still on the outside. Which is just great. It's weird how uh, bad the outside lane has been restarting, but it's been pretty consistent so far. You don't want to be on the outside lane. I think it's been all but once we've been on the outside I think we started fifth and then we were like fourth a bunch of times and now we're gonna restart eighth I have the memory of an oyster though so it's I probably like freaking last restart started on the inside and I don't even remember Shoot, well, sorry, this one's been a little boring so far. Bunch of yellows. Of course, I always have the chapters on the video if you want to skip through the yellows and get back to green flag racing. I sure wish I could do that right now. <laughs> so, yell at me if I forget. I'm usually pretty good about <laughs> remembering to put the chapters on there, but... Sometimes, especially when there's a bunch of cautions in a race, I'm like, ugh, I'll do it later. I don't want to do it. <laughs> Disappointing that uh, this one's felt more like a fixed race than an open race, though. No green flag pit stops or anything fun like that. Constant wrecks before we even get a lap done. At least we haven't been caught in it. We were real close right there, though. That guy almost hooked the back end of our truck when I saw him spinning behind us. Not sure exactly what happened, but we will see later when we go through the incidents. Yeah, I, three years ago my PC was awesome. Now uh, everything's outdated and uh, I can't stop blinking. Awesome. 
I'm not sure you know who, which is way outdated. If you can't stop blinking, your eyes might just be dry. <laughs> no. Keep that's the laugh not track. It. I checked out already. I have dry eyes. Oh my gosh, my cat is back. What do you want? I tried. Your food bowl is full. I gave you water. Just your water bowl was empty and I filled it up. So what are you doing here? You want a pet? I can pet you right now. We're under caution. Try that. Jasper's been playing a big supporting role in this video. He has been all over me. Alright, it's time to stop. <laughs> you cannot climb on me right now, dude. Alright, back to the outside. Back uh, behind the 12, who will hopefully have a better restart. Really don't want to, but if he gets another restart like that, I might have to put it to the outside. I really don't want to be that guy, but like we were almost caught in a wreck because of losing six, no, four spots in half a lap there. We were almost put right back into the thick of it. And that wreck probably was a chain reaction of people getting checked up from the guy not going. So, it's just, it's real dangerous having to half throttle it while everyone's charging behind you. Just notice that uh, 7 right there too has got some damage on the right side. He's gotten in front of us, apparently not slowing him down too bad. Get ready, going green. All right, let's uh, have a better restart this time, I hope. The pace car is off. Be ready. Green, green, green. green, green. Let's go. I'm a little bit slow when he jumped this time. Didn't feel like I was too bad, but... At least we get to the inside, that's not so bad. Would love to get some track position back. See if guys are blocking and stuff. It's still a little bit loose. Gotta be careful. Not as loose as it was before the uh, caution, but Car tires are cold. So gotta watch out a little bit. Still there. Oh, wiggling up there near the front. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Oh, Jesus. Alright, that was scary. That was very scary. I <laughs> just couldn't lift there. There's no uh, no cautions or anything. No one's sideways, so just uh, <laughs> had to go around. That got real sketchy for a second, but we made it. We're fine. Gonna need the guy in the the guys in the lead to not be getting sideways though, <laughs> in front of the whole field. I'm just riding, Sean. That's uh, that makes you sweat a little bit. Outside. 15 off the pace? He's not keeping up with the guy's head. Line. Really like to stay in their draft. Entering hard, getting on the right front. behind us now. We're P5. Big check up in the corner. We have to expect that at this point, I guess. A 
The laps are ticking down. Feels like pretty quick. Get used to these league races where we do 200 laps. 80 feels like nothing now. These used to be the long races. Well, just look into our inside. He's not content just running single file. He's pushing up at us. Don't worry about checking out, man. Still there at the bottom. I don't remember that. Stay high. You're not clear. He's coming up like he is a little bit. I kind of don't mind being in the second lane because I mean, if the truck's going to get loose, he's pushing up so much into my lane. It's really making me nervous. 15's to our inside, so we're just getting free drained like it's a short track. Oh, it's making me nervous, man. Still there at the bottom. Stay high to the car. Why the are you pushing up so far? Really having to be careful around him. Clear, car inside, clear. Bound safety, I guess I should probably just file in. Not two's inside, so we're not going to dive it in. Thirty to go here. Should be good on fuel. Taking a wide arc, kind of leaving the bottom open for us. It's happening up front. I saw a guy way outside, like he got loose or something. Check up in the corner again. Being nicer on the right rear this time, or at least trying to be. You've just done a Check up. I was going to the inside. Could be an open door for us. He's pushing up into that guy though, just like he did to me. Outside. We're gonna get to his inside now. And uh, fair enough, he'll hang on our outside just like I did to him for a while. It's only fair. <laughs> Truck's feeling good. It's not getting loose quite yet. I don't know if we're to that point in the run. Or if I'm doing a good job with it, but not loose yet. That's being very loud. <laughs> I wonder if you can hear that in the recording. <laughs> it's very chatty today. We were getting sideways a little bit. You two getting sideways a little bit. Still there, hold your line. Outside is clear. Outside. So check up. Still there, hold your line. Alright, Colton, the next car is playing a day low. There is a car on the high side. You're on the bottom for three wide. Bottom for wide. Still there, still there. Outside, two wide. Keep low. We're all just kind of tripping over each other right now. 
Outside is clear. Inside. Still there, hold your line. Good consistency. Keep them coming. We've just done it. Still inside. He's making me nervous yeah, with his blinking. Inside. That's probably all the smoke we've been seeing this whole time. It probably wasn't even anyone getting sideways. Keep high. Looks like lane maybe got loose there and lifted off. Weird that the second lane seems to be the fast lane right now. You're back in Got pretty grippy on exit though, I like it. That could be a big advantage for us. This continues to go green. Car outside. Still there, hold your line. Still there, hold your line. I'm gonna get around the 12, interestingly. Did not expect that. We get clear of him, it looks like he backed off a little bit. Chasing it up the track a little bit. I need the cat to not be near me in my pedals. I'm gonna go to hit the brakes and I'm gonna step on his head. Before, we're familiar with this position. 21 laps to go. Oh my god, please stop. He's actually hitting my legs. I'm really trying to fight a loose truck right now. I don't know why he's so... Uh, what's the word? He's so uh, involved in this race. It's definitely getting loose again. Do my best to handle it. Run on my head. That's the seven. I think I want to be on the outside of him. Not a huge fan of catching a lap car right now, but get that done. That was a little bit scary. Big loose. That was a bad moment right there. Can't believe how loose the truck is getting. I expected it would get loose, but this has been a little bit extra, more than I usually expect. Twelve going to the inside. Please don't push up into me like you have been. He is. He's hitting me. He is not afraid to take up your lane. Leaders are getting away as we battle. It's just slowing us both down. Though I wasn't really keeping up anyway. It's coming up. I constantly have to adjust my lane to stay away from him. Really hope I can pull away from from that guy. Really making me nervous. Got my draft though, and it's gonna be really hard. Stay away from him. I'm good on fuel still. I 
almost just want to try like a high line, but there's no way that would work. Oh, what happened to this well? He disappeared. He uh, had a moment, I think, back there. Suddenly, he's not right behind me. I think him being right back there was really making me loose, too. Not helping matters at all. Finding success running kind of middle lane. Oh, it keeps me from getting too sideways. Slacking off the loose as much as I can. 13 to go. The five's coming up on us. Crazy how the guys ahead have pulled away so far. They must have much better handling up there whereas we are having to lift off with uh, the loose moments they are not having to do so fight the wheel. That was a bad corner, though. I think this guy might get enough of a run. I think he's not going for it, though. Interesting. There was a little smoke. Don't know if that was blinking or not from the three. to our inside. Clear. Clears us. He's got more grip. Close this door, Robert, for like about a centimeter in front of us. backed off a little bit there, probably too much, but out of hide, is he running the wall? Is he gonna catch us doing that? Might have to see if that's working. You've just done a that's one point nine. Buy some lap traffic. Six probably caught in a wreck earlier. Outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear high. Let's just bring this thing home. Hopefully, don't wreck the thing. Kind of like in this lower entry I went with. I'm kind of purposely driving it in real hard and keeping the wheel as straight as possible while I go through the corner. That one, two of the leaders up there though, they, uh, they have established themselves as in another league. feeling like the truck's kind of settling down a little bit. A little less loose. I'll say that and probably get loose this corner, but... I had yawed out pretty good. Is that bumpy 26? Really hope we can Sorry, get to the, to the end. I do not want a late restart, especially if I'm going to be starting B4. B4 
be catching up to the five a little bit again. Not hard to tell. He's half a second up right now. Don't think we are catching. I mean, four to go. More than anything, would just like to finish on a green. E4 is fine. That's where we end up. All I wanted was a top ten. Remember, we've got our free setup out here, going against uh, the teams and all that. Oh, I see smoke. Is that real smoke? I don't know. I'm looking at the smoke and almost hitting the wall. They're like wrecking each other. Bouncing off of each other. For the lead. Gloves are off up there. They're not careful. We're going to catch them. They're like wrecking each other. Two to go. Two more. Let's go. Hey, if you guys are gonna wreck each other, at least wait till the white flag lap. So I'll have to do a caution. bit better with the handling. Really started uh, balancing out a little bit more. It's the final lap. We'll see what they do up there. Will there be a, an attempt for the win? Does it look like it? It looks like the one is going to get the victory. And uh, we'll get P4. Happy with that? I'll take it. Race, good win. I really should uh, do a hot key for that. I say it after every race. Alright, so that's a top five. All I was really looking for was the uh, top ten, so definitely happy with that. <laughs> Thank you. Kenny said plenty this race. He was talking to me. And weaving between my legs while I was racing. <laughs> Alright, we'll park it. What were the tires at the end? Oh my goodness. 8164. That is really on the right rear. I guess I just kind of got used to how loose it was, or maybe the, the line I was running was helping navigate how bad the rear tire was, but. Very interesting. Able to hold on to P4. I'm glad I did and didn't spin out. So we'll go ahead and look at the incidents, see what some of those immediate cautions were. We had a couple of them. Like that. I think that's a little bit loud. I'm going to lower it just a bit. All right, and then this was our lap one incident. The four just getting loose right in front of some guys. Anybody else plowing into it? Looks like we're okay. There's a view from behind a little bit. Got some guys approaching a little faster than others. For the most part, not too much damage done, I think. Goldfish kind of swerving all over the place. Seven's going high line. And they are wrecking. Wow, he got hit that hard and he was still competing, huh? He must have been able to fix a lot of that. 
So that looked like somebody just got loose. It was that uh, goldfish car that was already wiggly before. He just loses it on entry, comes down and tags the four, who was our first caution. And then up right in front of the seven, and those guys, heavy hits. That's, dream car. <laughs> that's why the four was knocked out of it. Usually not good when you can see the inside of the, the vehicle. Unless you're talking about like a modified or something, I guess. Moving right along. Lap 21, that's a bit of a jump head. That was major net code. Man, that's upsetting for the 10. Huge net code. Like, that's a full... <laughs> that's like a, t a full tire length width, I mean. Maybe two of them. And it's just, it's pulling them to the right and sending them right to the outside wall. That's just not even fair. And you can see, like, I'm I'm watching that guy go up there, and I'm like, oh, i got to stay away. And then all of a sudden, I'm on the apron and getting to the inside of the 12. Really wasn't trying to do that. But it, uh, it ended up happening. Dan, I'm sure, very disappointed with that. His car's very broken. His truck, anyway. He's hoping for a caution, I guess? I don't know. Now he's just going to drive through the grass during green flag conditions. And then he's the guy we saw just sitting there. That's a weird one. Then he just hangs out for a while. Some goldfish here, spinning out all on his own. Is that a caution? Don't think so. He's down below the apron. Here's probably a caution, though. More people self-spinning. Or maybe not. Did the uh, 20 get him? Nope. He was getting loose out there already. And uh, the 20 tried to kind of avoid and kind of clipped him a little bit. Oh. What happened here? Six. Able to avoid it. But uh, not long enough for the 16 to come plow into him. I don't think there was a caution yet, though. No, there was. There was a caution. So, uh, probably should have been slowing down a little bit more. You can see the caution's out right now. And, uh, maybe you couldn't see him. Comes and, uh, smashes the back end of the 6. I'm sure the front of the 16's not feeling great either. At 37, we got a three wide moment and some more net code. I, f I feel like the trucks, the prediction code for the trucks is always worse than just about any other vehicle on iRacing. That could just be me, but it feels like you get it the worst in this series. 20 gets hooked right in front of the 17. And we got a whole field of trucks coming, but it looks like everybody's able to avoid it for the most part. The 20 steers it and keeps it uh, close to the outside wall. Some of these wrecks could have been really big, but managed not to be. So the yellow oven's real close behind... Uh, oh, that's Wesley. Real close behind uh, the 17. That probably um, helped him get loose with the arrow and then that's something I was kind of worried about before when I was racing if you might remember me talking about it like running up behind someone maybe making them loose just kinda of having to prepare for that to happen because the next thing that happens is you run into the back of them because they lose all their speed so it's just something I've seen time and time before very easy for that to happen to you So we had a wall hit there with 26 He's going to go uh, <laughs> off-roading. He's taking a shortcut. Long cut, because <laughs> it doesn't really help him out too much. Now we've got the 8. Is he coming up to the wall? No? Not sure what we're seeing there. But uh, that is the end of the race. The one truck gets the win. He and the three, I think it was, yeah, they were like, uh, they were the ones to beat.
and uh, we kind of were hanging around with the five a little bit. He pulled away a little from us, but the five had a fantastic race, going from 17th to third. And uh, where did Wesley finish? 17th. So he moved forward, at least, and I know uh, he had a couple of hits. Still managed 0x, though, which is pretty impressive, considering how many people were not able to do that. Over half the field at least had one incident for one reason or another. So we keep it clean, though, and get our top five. Good stuff. We will look at the race results page real quick before we wrap it up and see uh, what gains of I rating we have. Safety rating will still be maxed out at A499 because we didn't get any incidents. Here it is here. We had three splits. This top one being 2873. And Victor in the 12 with the fastest lap. We get 16 I rating gains and 155 championship points. That's a good day at the track. I will definitely take it. And uh, going through the field here, you'll see the results. 26 truck field. And that'll do it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Fun race. It really gets on the right rear, so be prepared if you run this this week, this combo. I don't know what the fixed setup does, but it seems like uh, a lot of times with the OSR and probably uh, a lot of the setups, you're going to get on the right rear a little bit, so be prepared to counter steer a little bit. But uh, that'll do it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.